Guys, usually I'll get a knife in, and if the original version does not appeal to me, I'm pretty sure that the rest of them, the newer versions, will not. That's not the case. You guys can see in front of you, this is the Something Obscene J-Cape V4. And this knife has absolutely become a knife I fell in love with, which I wish I owned this, and has went from a knife that was just kind of meh to almost perfect. So let's turn this around and take a look at the big change that Something Obscene has made with this knife. Guys, like I said in the intro, this knife is just shy of perfect. I have been so impressed with this knife. It's been a long time since I had a knife come in that really hit as hard as this one did when it comes to things that I like in a knife. So uh, this is the Something Obscene J-Cape V4, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I think it has one of the most perfect style grinds on a knife. Uh, it came packaged really cool. So you can see that this came in a lot of different versions. This is basically first day. I had this in my pocket for like two days. Um, I just didn't get a chance to film. Uh, so it's been sitting on a shelf for a while because my wife had surgery. This is the black and satin uh, 20 CV blade. Now this comes in a lot of different versions and it had some exclusives that came out, which would be serialized, but this one is the black and satin and uh cool thing. They sent an extra pocket clip. If you're not a fan of this pocket clip, which I like this one, um, you could always replace it with this one. I thought I would like this one more. So when I swapped them out, I was kind of surprised I found this one to be the one I liked better. So let's get this stuff out of the way and take a look at it. I got to tell you, this knife is just shy of perfect. So you have got this beautifully ground 20 CB blade that has got multiple facets going different directions. Um, it's a very functional grind on this knife. It's not just a flash and pop showy kind of grind. So you've got a deep hollow here that comes down and then marries into uh, a really well done flat grind. They did a good job of getting this nice and thin behind the edge, even at the thicker point. Uh, where you have the full, where you have the flat grind. Uh, this thing slices so well. Beautiful swedge grind. Satin's going all different directions. So then you have a steel. Now I will tell you, some people are going to complain, but I will tell you, this is a steel frame lock. Flip. So guys, as sometimes does happen when you do blind reviews and only gleaning information from what you can get on the card that comes with a knife and things like that, I said that this was a steel frame lock and it is not it's 6AL4V titanium with steel inlays and so disregard any further mention to the steel I'm not going to delete it all out uh it's in there I know I look stupid but sometimes it happens Flipper. uh with steel with uh stainless steel inlays that are done in a stone wash the whole thing is just contrasting colors this thing is amazing in hand the, I don't know how much different the handles are that I like this so much better than the first. I had an original JK, the version ones that came out. I had one of them on a channel. My buddy bought one and he let me borrow it for video. I like this so much better than the original JK. I don't know how much they changed. I don't know what all changed, but I absolutely love this so much more. It is just about perfect. It is going in my pocket. Now that I've filmed the first night box, this is going to be a long-term carry because I have got this here for a while. This thing slices so well because it is almost non-existent behind the edge at in the hollow. And then it's not much thicker on the flat. And it came with a factory edge that is just screaming, screaming sharp, super aggressive. The handles are really comfortable. So comfortable in hand. This is one of the most comfortable knives that has come in in a long time. It's a nice, thick, bulky, beefy knife. I do like a larger, thicker, broader knife because I have larger hands and it just feels so good. The handles are just the perfect size for me. They're not too big. They're not too small. You've got jimping up here and here. It's not overly aggressive. It just feels secure. And they have got on the spine of this knife some of the best jimping I have ever had on a knife it is just it's up there with other knives that i say do jimping perfect in my opinion this is up there with ferrum fords chavez knives uh bob terzula other guys that know that jimping uh jim skelton jimping needs to be aggressive enough to give you purchase if it's not it's just a waste um action on this just it's, it is so so good this has one of the best sounds of any knife 
that has come in in a long time. We talked about that on a live feed the other day. Uh, the in and out of pocket on this, uh, because of the way this is done, you've got a very smooth transition. There is no cutout for the lock bar that's exposed because this inlay completely covers it. So there's no rough spot there that catches. There's no hot spot in hand there. Can't even feel it. The pocket clip, even though this pocket clip looks really sharp, very, very comfortable in hand. It's in a position where it's not sharp and it transitions nicely. Your backspacer is a very good backspacer, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. All of your hardware is... Yeah, I mean, it's nice and clean. It's not like rough milled. Uh, it's got a very clean look to it. Disassembly on us, really, it was very easy. Did not have a problem changing out the pocket clip and then changing it back. Um, the flipper tab, in a really good spot. I know some people don't like the larger flipper tabs, but you get really good purchase on it, so it feels good. And then it does not transition down into the area where you've got your fingers. It's not a hot spot. And even on these areas where a lot of knives have got like a sharp spot here, they did a good job through the through the milling and with the tumble on this for the stone wash, softening that up to where that's not a hot spot. And then access to the lock bar is just about perfect. So they put jimping on it, and a lot of times I'm not a fan of that, but this jimping is not super aggressive, and it's just about perfect for you to get on that. And the lock bar is not super heavy detent. Even though you have really good action on this, the detent is not super heavy, so it is not at all a problem to disengage that and there is zero lock slit lock stick it is just buttery smooth and then as far as lock up there is no i a lot of times even if a knife is tight i can get a little bit of blade play in it not on this so this is this knife is probably one of the best knives that has come in this year uh i am really really impressed with this i'm in love with this i'm gonna dread having to send it back to its owner when it's time but uh with the good, you guys know there's always a little bit of bad. So after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, we'll talk about the couple little negative things that I've found. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout or or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. All right, there's just a couple things on this. Um, you have this big sharpening choil here. Um, and it's one of those ones where I'm on the fence. I like a sharpening choil, but if you're going to go this big, I would prefer it be a full finger choil and you can't really get in on it. It would allow you to have a different grip on it. Now you can get up on it and do a lot of stuff, but you kind of, it's, it's big enough. It could have been a finger choil, but it's not like, I think you absolutely could have made that a little bit bigger, maybe change the blade shape and interface with the handle a little bit. Uh, next thing, a little bit heavy. They did a lot of weight reduction on this, um, but on the show scale, you still have this uh, inlay, and there's just a lot of material that could have been removed and made this lighter. It's fairly heavy. I don't mind a heavy knife. I don't dislike it. It's not overly heavy, but it is a little bit heavy. Um, and then the other things would be, uh, even though this is a really cool backspacer, that they have on this. It's got this jimping on it, and I'm not a fan of jimping on a backspacer. I mean, I, a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's for group, reverse grip. I really can't get on the reverse grip back there with the size of my hands. I would have preferred to have had this be slick and then not have this hole here and maybe have a post because last thing, as you guys know, not a fan of lanyard holes. On this one, it doesn't show up. It's, it's not like it shows off so much. I think it's because the handles are dark and then the hole is fairly deep because it's a fairly thick knife. Um, so you don't get, you don't see it as much. Like you can see it, like when I get off the mat, but it's not really that prominent, but I would have preferred to not have a lanyard hole in it at all. But it, overall, really, really impressed with this knife and how it's so much better than the original J Cape that I had on the channel. Um, really impressed with how good this cuts for a big 
knife. The deep, that deep hollow really, really gave it a lot of cutting power. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Like I said, I'm absolutely in love with this knife. Uh, I wish I owned this knife. I'm probably going to see how long I can get away with carrying this before the owner requests it back. Uh, because it is just shy of perfect. There's very little minimal things on it that I found negative, And I really had to kind of set myself out to find them on that first day of carries. We're going to carry it for a couple of weeks. We're going to see how I feel about it. But absolutely, I'm in love with this. So that's it on this one, guys. If you want to support the channel, please drop a like on a video. It absolutely helps us with the algorithm. It pushes us up the algorithm, whether YouTube wants us to or not. And you all know social media does not like the knife hobby right now. So uh, other ways you can do it. I have got the Coffee Brand Coffee sponsorship you saw, but I also have a sponsor, which is Tempered Trail. Um, Nathan is adding new stuff to his catalog. You can go over there and use the coupon code crazy sharp to save 5% on any of the cool leather gear that he's making and the laces, which are the best laces you are ever going to find for your outdoor boots. Coffee Brand Coffee, there's a link below. I'd prefer if you use the link, there's less problems with that than there is the coupon code, but I do have that same coupon code, Crazy Sharp. And if you're looking for Rosecraft knives, I can save you 5% with the discount code, Crazy Sharp, there as well. I have got a membership down below. All the members have access to the Gilded Server. Baseline and premium tier members are entered into the giveaways I do on the Gilded Server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. And I have an Amazon store. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you're going to do. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout, and it makes you uh, Amazon pay me a little bit. You don't even have to get dressed to do it. Uh, guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.